All right, so next, I'm going to show you how to build a basic MIDI synthesizer in Max. And this is going to be really basic because I'm just going to use a sine tone or something like that. Um, one thing about synthesizers is that when you have a new note, so if you play two notes at the same time or three or four notes at the same time, the synthesizer has to be able to handle the that many notes. If it can't, it's called a mono, uh, a monophonic synthesizer. If it can handle more than one note, it's called a polyphonic synthesizer. So we're going to create what's called a polyphonic synthesizer. So polyphonic synthesizer. All right. So the first thing we're going to go and do is get our notes. So we need our note in. And we have our pitch and velocity. All right. There's our pitch and our velocity. Now, notice over here I have the inspector open. I'm going to use that in a little bit, but it tells you all the different things you can do to all these display objects. You can get rid of them, you can hide them, you can make them different colors and things like that. So it's a cool little thing. Let's close that for now. All right, next, we need an object called poly. And we're going to give it an argument, which is the number of voices, which is basically a number of notes you can play at the same time. So I'm just going to do four. And then I'm going to turn on something called steel mode. So 4-1. And it's taking a pitch list, or you can do pitch and velocity. So we're just going to take the pitch and put it in there, and the velocity and put it in there. All right. Now, what's going to come out is a voice number, then the pitch and the velocity. And so what Polly is going to do is it's going to assign a voice number for every new note it gets. Until it gets a note off, basically those voice numbers stay the same. So it basically allows you to create polyphonic synthesizers. And we're going to use this voice number with an object called route. We're just going to route the numbers one, two, three, and four for our four voices. Okay, so the first thing we do have to do is pack those into a list. And I think that will be good with this. So voice number and the pitch. And we just send that into our router. And now we should get all four voices printing out at the same time. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. What did I do? I don't know if I have to do that or not. Whoops. All right, well, not sure why they're not displaying right now. They should be. Fun, fun times. Just going to leave it like it is. What the hell, Max? For now, we're going to just assume that this is going to work. If not, it's like a cooking show. I have one hidden away that I can pull out and say I cooked that in the last 20 seconds. All right. Um, <coughs> so uh, I'm going to introduce you to a new object. Uh, it's called MIDI to frequency. Okay. So M T O F, MIDI to frequency. So it converts these MIDI numbers into frequency numbers, which is really handy because that we need our synthesizer to take frequencies, not MIDI numbers. And our synthesizer is going to be really simple. It's going to just be a sinusoidal oscillator. 
So we need four of those to simulate our synthesizer. So remember, this could be anything. This could be a subpatcher of your most amazing signal processing. But right now, we're just for demonstration purposes going to do cycle. Okay, so we have note, pitch goes into poly. We pack the note number, I'm sorry, the voice number and the note into a list. Send that to route. Route one, two, three, four, and it should come out each of these respective outlets. If as long as the first outlet is one. So if this is uh, the first voice, it's going to give you the voice number one and then a pitch, and then that's going to be packed together. And then it's going to see that number one is the first number of the list and send it out output route one. And if it's two, it sends it out output two. Okay, so this is, uh, if you remember, pack is packing things into a list. Okay, and route wants a list, and the first number is the number to be routed. So we're just going to route them for each voice. All right, so now these should be doing something, and I'm just going to create, for now, little multipliers, and I'm just going to multiply them by small amounts so that we don't get any sort of clipping. Now I'm going to get our nifty little volume slider. And one thing I like to do with this one is I like to change its orientation to horizontal. All right. And <coughs> like I said, there, there's something weird has happened. So well like you saw, something weird has kind of happened. So we, we may not be able to use this one. Turn this down so we don't blow our ears when we put our DAC on there. All right. So let's just see. Is this doing anything? Yeah. Weird. It's doing absolutely nothing. Okay. So here is the magic time. Hopefully this still works. It's basically almost everything I just did with one little added bonus that I'll explain in a second. All right. So we have a polyphonic synthesizer. Um, but I did, since the just sort of stopped working on me, and I really don't care why, it, um, this is why I did this beforehand. I added one more element, which is I basically did the same thing I did with the pitch and I turned it into, uh, but I did the same, I did, I, sorry, I did the same thing that I'm going to do with velocity with pitch. So the velocity is going to also be controlled by our little, if you remember these little volume, um, volume knobs. Now we're going to use that to our advantage. So what happens is that I basically, I pack the velocity and the voice number just like we did with pitch here. And I'm going to route that to and divide it by 127 because remember our, our um, velocity is at 0 and 127. And then I'm going to run that through our uh, the logic that we saw from our uh, previous to create a previous tutorial to create a slider, a volume slider. So we use pack and then line into a multiplier. Okay, so this is something that you just kind of do when you try and create a synthesizer. So now when I put press a key harder, I'll get different volume. Okay. And then one thing though that this does not solve is that if you were to do full volume on all four keys, you're going to get distortion. So what it doesn't do, it doesn't dynamically look at the volumes of all the voices and then basically calibrate how loud they should be in relation to each other. It doesn't do that. Um, you have to either do that yourself or there's another object that you can maybe dig up and find. But for now, unless we we're planning on doing that, um, we're, we're good. Okay. 
we don't get much distortion and we can always correct that by just simply you know um, either bringing our volume down or just changing changing the the value here to something a little higher than 127 so that we can avoid that but there's other ways of doing it I don't want to get too complicated but here here's your first synthesizer your first polyphonic synthesizer um, basically if you co just copy this logic and you replace this thing here with your synthesizer and you can obviously you can do up to as many voices as you want you have yourself a built-in ready to go polyphonic synth so there you go world hope you enjoyed it <laughs>